Good morning and welcome to our Wednesday morning Time in the Word devotional. I'm Pastor Will. It's great having you with us here today. I'd like to begin our time together this morning by reading to you from the Gospel of John, chapter 1, verses 1 to 5. That's John, chapter 1, verses 1 to 5. Hear the word of the Lord. We read, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made, and without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. May the Lord bless the reading of his holy word. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much for your word here this morning. And pray now, Lord, that you may teach us, instruct us, and that we, that we would learn the things you would have for us to learn. For we pray this in your name. Amen. Last night, as I sat in our living room, I was looking at our Christmas tree. Yes, that's right. Our, I said Christmas tree. We still haven't taken it down yet. It's only three weeks into January, but we still haven't taken it down yet. You know, as I was looking at that tree, I was caught up in its decorations. You know, the Christmas tree lights shining, and with that, the wonderful jingle bells held on each Christmas tree branch. I love that sound. You know, as I looked at these, I was reminded, reminded of their lessons they have to teach us. The lights reminding us of Jesus, the light of the world, who was born in that stable in Bethlehem. And with that, those jingle bells, those jingle bells reminding us that we need to make some noise. We need to make some noise concerning this Jesus, this light of the world. You know, if you think about it, we do a pretty good job at that at Christmas time, don't we? The special Christmas services, the caroling, the cards, the Christmas cards we send out to friends and family with manger scenes upon it. But when the cold winds of January and February begin to blow, and with the coming of the rest of the year, many of us at times grow silent. The truth of the matter is, Jesus, the light of the world, is still with us 365 days a year. For as we read in our passage, the darkness has not overcome it. And we, like those jingle bells I held up just a moment ago, well, we are still called upon to make some noise for Jesus, to continue proclaiming this Jesus to this world around us, reflecting his light in our daily actions and speaking forth his gospel through the words that we speak. My friends, let's keep sharing this Jesus, this light of the world with everyone we know. That's how Jesus plans to build his kingdom anyhow. And that's how we keep the spirit of Christmas going 365 days a year. So, this being so, may the light of Christ guide you throughout this whole year. Well, that's about it from here this Wednesday morning. Till next time on Time in the Word, blessings. I'll catch you later.